determining what the tax levy will be, we guessed as to how much we'll collect when this past year was 98.5. It looks like we're going to hit that goal, so we may be able to adjust that. We'll know that better. We'll know that better also at the uh, at the town meeting. So, and again, that's another reason why I, I say this is the worst case scenario. Bill? Yes. So we're on that slide, uh, the one you just had. Can you go back to it? Yeah, uh, sir. You have uh, <coughs> education increase as zero, but if I understand the uh, region's budget, if there were, if it was the same figure as last year, I think because of their reduced revenue, there's somewhere around four hundred eighty thousand dollars, eighty four hundred eighty thousand and fifty five dollars shortfall uh, by their budget which means there would be an increase even if it was a flat budget for the region. I'm not aware of that right now. Are you? Well, we haven't heard that. One thing we're dealing with is what we requested of them. That's the only thing that's in our proposal at this point. We have to wait for the referendum to decide what to insert for the education budget. Bill, I have a question on that, uh, that, that education money. Um, since we're not going to discuss it later on, uh, there's 200 and some odd kids from out of town that come to the BOAG school. They, at the school board meeting when they discussed the budget, they said that the budget um, uh, responsibility for Bethlehem and for Woodbury were going to be determined by how many kids came from those towns and uh, divide that into, into the budget request. All right? So I asked them, who's paying for the 200 kids, Bethlehem or Woodbury? And they couldn't answer the question. And they didn't answer the question. You guys might want to go there too. Please. Well, 70% of it comes from Woodbury, of course. No, no, not, you got no, 75.5% are up considerably. They are up to 75. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 75. 75.5. 75. 75. Yeah. There's, there's 200 kids which are coming to the school which are being charged either to Bethlehem or both of us. Who's paying for it? Well, I assume that if they deduct the uh, tuition and the state grants, there's a leftover amount that the region has to make up and they have to build the two constituent towns by their share. And, and, and we should know how much we're paying for the Oxford kids, the, my taxes, and so should Bethlehem. Right, well, you're paying for the Oxford kids, kids at the rate of 75% per, per kid. Okay, uh, since we're on that subject, uh, there's a report out right now, a report of the Connecticut Agriculture, Science and Technology Education yeah. State Consulting Committee, uh, February 2012 is the date, and there's some predecessors to that report. I don't know if you're aware of that or not. I'm not. Uh, it states in there, and I will give you copies uh, that you can share. It says in there that it costs sending town or host towns to OI centers throughout Connecticut a minimum of $4,800 for each and every out-of-town student that is not covered by the tuition. Uh, I agree with and you. They, I they, they they increase, from, and they've increased the size of that this year. Uh, they used to take just over 200 or 205, now they're up to 212 out-of-district students. And that comes out to uh, 4,800. That comes out to a million and seventeen thousand six hundred dollars. And we're very sure of that is seven hundred and sixty-eight thousand dollars that we're paying for kids that don't reside here. And because of our proportion of the school district, we're getting clipped seven hundred and sixty-eight thousand and change. And that's unfair to the taxpayers of Woodbury. And I've maintained that for a while. The district has said, no, we're making money. Well, this, the, it's all come out in facts and figures now that we're not. And that's, that's, that money, if we were going to spend it, is much better spent in town or better yet saved to the taxpayers. I, just, I was in the Milford yesterday. There's a tax, a tax sale sign in front of the town hall up there. We saw an article in the paper here uh, last week. In Middlebury, there was a tax sale. Uh, we've got a new foreclosure sign over on Linden Road. Is this what we want for our town? This is what's happening to the whole area, and it's, it's from reckless spending. And to look the other way on what the region is doing to us is not the prudent way to handle our finances. We're giving away over three quarters of a million dollars every single year. I, I'm not aware of the publication, but I, 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 agree. I agree in theory that you're correct, and that's why the Board of Finance took the position for the town to reject the Board of Education budget. We have to reject it until they get realistic. And, and maybe part of the 
The answer is to reduce the BOA program for the point where it's uh, the, the report actually hints, and I, and I think the BOAG program is a good program. Well, it is. I think it's, it's a very, very good program. There's a few copies there in the chair, and you can get more online. They're very right. easy to find. Uh, but it's the, they, what they're trying to do is work with the state, but we started this back in the 90s, and it's, it's just gotten out of control. It's just too much money. Bill, I have a question. All right, we're uh, focused, and then you're next. Yeah, I, I just, for the record, I object for the town of Woodbury paying any monies to support out of kids, out of town Major kids from coming to school. I, that, that's, I would like that part of the record. Please. Thank you. Do you have somebody on the Board of Finance that sits in on negotiation, labor negotiations? This is the first year, yes. Okay, because we haven't had that in the past. No, we haven't. We, have, we, we have it for the Board of Education, but... Yeah. We have, we, and we also have a member of the Board of Finance that sits in on the pension board, too. Because you, you guys realize that you are the only ones protecting the taxpayer. We realize that. Okay, thank We've you. We've had struggles in the past thank you. trying to get that point across okay. with uh, legal opinions, yeah. et cetera.